Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. This is Dominic Sicali with Mafia Roundtable. First off, I'd like to thank our sponsor, EG Vodka. Please go to egvodka.com and order your vodka. It will be drop shipped to you. Excellent vodka, 100% organic. And if I had this vodka back in the day, would never have had a headache, hangover, anything like it. Excellent. That's how clean it is. Also, we have Champagne de Rock. It's also part of the EG brand. Order your champagne as well. This story is going to be a current story about me after outside of the life. It's just to show all the things that have been happening to me and just me getting over the humps, acting like a human being, a, a civilian, and not going back to my old ways, no matter how bad things turn out. And just to show, you know, it's difficult at times, but um, I've come to grown accustomed to being normal, <laughs> as uh, my wife would say. But this story has to do with my wife. She worked for Telemundo, which is an Hispanic television station, owned and operated by NBC Universal Comcast for close to 20 years plus. Top biller at the station. She was in sales productions, uh, brought in a lot of revenue for the company. She was actually making as much money as the general manager of the station. Her superior, who was the uh, manager of sales, she actually made more than he did. And in this story, it just shows me just holding back, refraining. Her superior, her sales manager, was constantly hitting on her, making sexual advancements towards her. And yet, when I would go to the galas, to all the events with my wife dressed up, we became close, me and this guy, Anibal Soto. And it got to the point we were really close, because fun, he's also from New York, Puerto Rican, old school, we got along really well. Had a lot of fun together. And see each other maybe three, sometimes four times a week. And 90% of the time, my wife would be with me. He'd come over the house, have a few cocktails, we'd meet out to dinner. And on a few different occasions, my wife would say, Dom, leave him alone, let's just stay with us. And I'm like, why, Maddie? Like, what's the issue? And she would drop it. She would drop it immediately knowing my flags go up real quick. No, no, never mind. Invite him, invite him, invite him. So I invite him. And he, hey, buddy, pal, friend, he's in my home. All of a sudden, my wife takes a leave of absence. We had a bus accident. Um, and she had to go down for surgery. She went for surgery. And it just so happened, one day I'm walking in the house. And I hear... Somebody say, just put it between your legs, open your legs, go to the bed like you know how to do. And I'm like, was that what I thought I heard as I'm walking in? And I look at her, what did I just hear? And she could barely move. And she starts crying. And I said, Maddie, what the fuck did I just hear? It sounded like a knee ball. And she told me. And I said, are you kidding me? And then she went into all the sexual harassment over the years, what he was doing to her. And I'm like, why didn't you ever say anything? Dom, I didn't want you to kill him. I didn't want you to react. I know your past. I know how you could get. I says, no, Maddie, I changed. Just, you know what? Follow a complaint. If we have to, we'll follow a lawsuit. I give you my word. There'll be, I won't say anything. And with that, the whole time she she was afraid. And I walked in, it, it just burnt me up inside what this dirty motherfucker was doing. And Because he would tell me stories about him back in the day, banging the reporter in the van, uh, going knowing he's a dog, like he just in and out of women's beds, had them in, in his bed. And uh, never did I think he would cross that line and do it to my wife. And I'm going to be doing a major podcast on this as far as what happened 
the judge, the federal judge on the case. Uh, and again, if anybody knows me from my past podcast, I talk highly about my judge, the prosecutors in my case, the FBI agents I got close with. And there's all good and bad in every. But this federal judge is a Trump appointee. She never even practiced in federal court before. So she doesn't know federal law, and she's known for big corporations, which she did so egregious to not only Hispanic women, all women. It's beyond. It's beyond. And I'll go more into it because I'm going to have all my facts down because when I speak, I like to be accurate. And with that, I, like I even told my wife, I'm like, wow, this is a disgrace what went on with this case and everything, how they could cover up big corporation, the big money, with their confidentiality agreements on their employees' non-competes, where they let people off, but they have to sign non-disclosures that they can't divulge anything. But um, And then I looked at my wife. I said, you know what? Because there was also people saying... Well, he's married. she's married to a mobster when it came out. So everybody wound up finding out at the station. Uh, and half the station loves me till this day. I mean, we joke, we go out, we have drinks, dinner. Uh, real good time because I, I never conduct myself like an asshole. And, and I, I look at the back of my head and people say I haven't changed. Well, if I, had, if I didn't change... What I would have did when I saw my wife crying that day, I wouldn't have said shit to anybody. And I guarantee you within that week, people would have been saying, where's Anibal? Where's Soto? Where is he? He hasn't showed up for work. Knew where he lived, where went, snatched his ass up. They would have never found him again. That's the old Dominic. But like I said, when I turned a new leaf, I became a cooperating witness for the government. Back in 2006, I transitioned myself that I said, once I come home, I'm going to make sure I'll be a law-abiding citizen. That till this day, I don't even have a traffic ticket. Knock on wood. And with that, if everybody likes this story, please hit subscribe. Please comment on this one if you guys want to hear more. And I would like all the male, because we have predominantly male viewers, Mention this one to your wives because I want to get a movement going for the women out there. I want to use this platform. This is one of the reasons why I did come out, why I came out. Because it's funny. I tried hiring a PR firm for my wife because there was little stories about it put out in Fox. And I was told by a PR firm that deals with Fox News Dom, we don't want to take your money. We don't want to waste your money. We know you went for a lot of money so far on this case. I'm like, why is that? Well, because there's an unwritten rule that Fox and NBC, all the stations won't go after if something happens with sexual harassment. They'll report it, but they won't go after them hard because if it happens to them, they get extended the same courtesies. So I'm going to use this platform to bring awareness because it's, it's really, it's a disgrace. And it's funny because in countries like Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, it's allowed, it's accepted. It's accepted because the women fear the retaliation from the men. So it's okay to touch, to make inappropriate comments. But when it happens in this country, and these women who come from these other countries that are working here feel, well, we're inferior, we have to accept it. No, you don't have to accept it. I'm going to be the voice. I'm going to speak out. And I'll be fairly. I keep everything fair, even keeled. But this is going to stop because the Hispanic women and all women don't deserve that. Don't deserve that. Even though it's a Hispanic station, it's still owned by NBC, Comcast, Universal. And this would not have been tolerated if it was general market. So with that, hope everybody likes the content. Please inform your wives, comment on it, and 
I'll let everybody know when the main topic, the long interview will come out about all the wrongdoings and how they still try to cover up because my wife's Hispanic. If everybody likes the video, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. Everyone have a good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Much love to you. Peace out.